Let's see him now! Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be doing a shooting breakdown at one of my favorite places on Earth. A place I would never say anything bad about. You sure about that? Needle Hobo Tent Dystopia Dog <laughs> Land, USA. I would never say anything bad about it. You sure about that? West Los Hole <laughs> Angeles, the largest degenerate tent city on the planet. Gavin Newsom's Big Dirty Butthole, California. In this shooting breakdown, we're going to see some accuracy through the front windshield of a police police car. You know what's cooler than a police shooting breakdown? That's right, having shaved balls. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. Halloween's coming up and you know what? There's a lot of scary stuff to look forward to, but do you want your significant other to be scared of your balls? Nothing scarier than some four inch long pubes on some franken beans. Manscaped wanted me to talk about one of their new products, the Handyman. It's a nice compact little shaver that'll get rid of them stubbles. It's got skin safe technology, a five minute quick charge time and a 60 minute use time. It's waterproof too. How rad is that? I obviously don't need it. I like having a beard, but sometimes my beard starts looking like pubes too. So that's where this comes in. The Beard Hedger. It's got a little adjustable wheel for 20 different lengths. So you don't have to have those stupid <coughs> plastic things laying all over the place. Head on over to manscaped.com and use the code donut to get 20% off today and free shipping. Don't have scary balls. Oh, speaking of balls, they just sent me this too. It says, we save balls. You want them to save your balls with the lawnmower 4.0 because they will shave your, save your balls. It says save, right? It does say save, yep. We shave your balls too. They do lots of things. Manscaped is really good with balls. They almost have an obsession with balls. Get rid of the stubble with the handyman. Help your beard out with the Beard Hedger Pro, but you can get the Beard Hedger Pro kit and it comes with all sorts of stuff. Everything you need, oils, balm, things to take care of your beard, combs, brushes, and then save your balls with the Lawn Mower 4.0. Don't have a scary bush this Halloween. Choose Manscaped and use the code DONUT. Los Angeles, <laughs> September 4th, 2023. Why yes, this incident did happen last month, but footage was kind of slow to release because all the detectives had to waddle back from McDonald's after getting free Big Macs. JK, dog, JK. Oh, I'm just referencing this police magazine I have. See, those weren't my words. The Japanese taught me that. Super serial though, criminal investigations sometimes just take time to figure out before they can release the footage for legal reasons. Anyways, a gas station clerk calls 911 and says, hey, that guy came in with a gun and he stole some things. 911, what is your emergency? I work at a gas station. Shit like this always kills me when they redact things like that. Like they're redacting the address up there. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is. I didn't, you know, I'm not doing this. I know it's probably a legal point or a policy or something, but you got an arrow right on the fucking gas station. Only my top secret CIA, NSA, NASA software that Obama made for me could figure this mystery out. Let's see. They're pointing right there. Enhance. 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 Mother of God. Come here, little guy. We're gonna go into enemy territory. And... Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, is this a brand new one? That's exactly where it was. Yo, this is the same intersection. Extract, extract the little man. Oh, how the f do you extract him? No, no, no. We gotta get out of here. You do whatever it takes, and we will bring you home. Do you understand? We will bring you home. Oh, there we go. Sorry, little guy. He almost got addicted to crack down there. Anyways, I'll stop f***ing about so we can watch people get shot. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Now that we found the top secret gas station, let's continue. And this man is and his little gun. Um, he just showed it to me. He did not point it at me. And I, I think he's still in paper for it. They got a little bit of the top secret gas station security footage. And if you look to the right, you can see her suspect rocking back and forth while reaching into his bag and pulling out a gun. Wonderful. Now we have a mental suspect with a gun in a crowded place. And it looks like he just pulled the hammer back on that bad boy. Wait a minute. Aren't those semi-automatic pistols like that illegal in Los Angeles and most or all of California? How, how does he have it? This is impossible. You sure about that? Thankfully, he doesn't really do anything with the gun. He just stands there and rocks back and forth. It's actually kind of fucking creepy. It looks like he might have been contemplating robbing the gas station and didn't go through with it. So he walks out, grabs a few small things off the shelf and heads out the door. Deputies catch up with him and he starts running down the street. But then a deputy sees the gun and he radios it in. Dude with a gun who just committed armed robbery. Stay frosty, boys. Running 
southbound towards 4, right from pocket 417. Ooh, bro, I don't think you're going to get away from that. You got at least one, two, three, four police on your trail. And right here is when the officer involved shooting takes place. Now let's watch it from inside the patrol car. Stop! Oh no! Show me your hands now! Show me your hands! Show me your fucking hands now! Show me your fucking hands now! Show me your hands! Show me your fucking hands now! Show me your hands! Stop right there! Stop right there now! Show me your hands! Keep your hands where I can see them! Keep your hands where I can see them now! Keep your hands where I can see them now! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Don't move! Don't move! Dude brandished a gun at the deputy. The deputy didn't want to step out of his car and waste that time. You know, give the guy time to turn around and shoot him. So the deputy shot six times through his windshield. Now remember, we've talked about this a bunch of times on this channel. We got a bunch of cops shooting through their windshields. His FTO says, hell no, brother. No one shoots at my trainee and returns fire through his patrol car windshield with a Gucci ass patrol pistol. I mean, look at this thing. It's dope as hell. Hit him right here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. You all right? Good. You okay? Good. You don't want to do that mostly because bullets can deflect. And not only that, when you're shooting at the window, that glass blows back on you. It could go in your eyeballs. That wouldn't feel good. It also turns into kind of a powder that you can inhale. That doesn't feel good either. You're breathing that shit in. Not cool. The deputy felt like this was the time to take action. Did what he needed to do. The guy goes down. They provide aid. And he lives. And of course, he was charged with an armed robbery. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, head on over to DonutOperator.com. Get some super sweet merch at Bunker Branding for me and all my friends. This one of admins, new ones, it's pretty dope. And then just go and follow me on all the other platforms, especially Twitter. That place is fun. And always, until next time, please have a fantastic day. Whack.